Hey team, Ange here from the A-Life and we have recently had a few requests from our own members inside the A-Life Anywhere for shorter movement sequences that they can do throughout their work day. So I thought I would come on and share a short upper body opener sequence with you to get your body moving when you just need a little bit of a work break. So we can do this seated, which is why I've got my chair here. Prop yourself up on the end, bring your feet in front of you and sitting up nice and tall. From here, we're gonna tuck our chin down to our chest and kind of make a double chin here. And then come all the way up and look up to the side into extension. Relax the shoulders, ribs are down, chin to chest. And coming up to extension, that's two. Let's keep going. Three and up. Four. Up, really getting into that range of motion of flexion and extension. Two more. Go slow so you can feel everything. And then coming back into the center, now left to right. So think about your spiraling taller as we twist and rotate. A few more here, relax the shoulders for three, two, last one. And then we're going to go for a nice little uh, front of the neck stretch. So you're going to bring both hands down underneath the collarbone here. Press down on your skin, kind of drag it down a little bit. And then the chin is going to reach to the opposite shoulders. You're going to come for a nice anterior neck stretch. Take a full breath in, long breath out. Once more here, big inhale, long exhale. Other side, we come down, pressing down. Chin goes away from your hand, three deep breaths. Last one, and then coming back to neutral. Bring your arms out to the side, shoulders away from your ears here. We're gonna do some scapular circles in this position. So you're gonna shrug your shoulders forward and up towards your ears, squeeze them at the back and then depress them down. So we're going in a circle forward, up, back and down. Two more, forward, up, back and down. Last one, forward, up, back and down, let's reverse. So we elevate, bring it forward, depress, and then back. Elevate, forward, depress, and back. One more, elevate, forward, depress, and back. Give it a little shake if you need to. We're gonna reset back out. This time our right arm is gonna go into external rotation, our left arm into internal rotation. I want you to look at the side where the palm is up, Try not to shrink the body though, and then switch sides. Really turn that back arm into internal rotation as the other one does the opposite. A few more here, moving from side to side for four, three, two, and last one. Amazing, coming on down. We've got some Cuban rotations next. So we're gonna bring our shoulder elbows to our shoulder height here. You can make a fist to radiate that tension, ribs down, externally rotate, and then internally rotate. Now see if you can do this without involving that shoulder blades, just the shoulder, so we don't wanna round the back here. Coming up and down <laughs> for five. Oh, I'm sure you're gonna feel this one. Three, two, really feel the muscles on the back of the shoulder. One, last one, open, and then coming all the way down, I'm sure. We're bringing some blood to our shoulders now. Hands onto your knees here. Elbows can be slightly bent if you like. Starting from your chin, you're gonna round the spine again. This time the upper back will continue to round middle back and lower back till the whole span is, spine is rounded. Then from the neck again, we're gonna go into extension, upper back extension, middle back, lower back. You can kind of pull on the knees if you like, starting from the top round. Continue that articulation from the top down, middle back, lower back, and then from the neck, upper back, 
middle back pull on those knees get that extension one more round chin tucked articulate down and round the spine and then from the top extend now we're going to go from the bottom team so we go tailbone tucks we start to round the lower back round the middle back round the upper back and then from the bottom we tilt forward as we roll and articulate into extension heads the last thing to come up on the tailbone again round 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 and then tailbone comes forward and extend all the way open and then coming back to neutral all right some twists through the spine you can create a fist or a hand whatever will suit you so keep the sit bones down we turn to the left and we punch with that right hand to create that twist getting taller as you twist two three four spiral the spine as you rotate five six seven eight nine and ten coming back to the middle left hand can you can sit on it or just grab hold of your chair right hand reaches up shoulder blade re, uh, elevates first and then we come over for a nice side bend fan the ribs open take a big inhale coming back up let's switch sides left arm reaches up shoulder blade elevates to make some room for those ribs and we side bend neck side bends as well coming back up nice two more here reach up nice and tall side bend and then coming up reset reach side bend so good last one here reach up elevate the shoulder blades side bend breathe into that side waist and finishing off reach side bend full breath and then coming all the way back down so good we're going to stand up and finish with a nice upper back stretch so i'm going to grab the back of your chair here holding on walking yourself back elbows are straight you can bend the knees if you like and i want you to almost keep the lower back rounded so you're not dropping into the lower back so the emphasis is then on the upper back so tuck the tailbone then from here maintain that roundness of the lower back while you drop your chest and then take three deep breaths here nice and slow two more last one so good slowly peel up walk yourself back up this time just away from your chair interlace the hands press down open up your shoulders take a moment here as you press the fist down towards the ground maybe even look up take your inhale and then as you exhale we're going to round and forward fold over your legs letting the head and neck really drop now you can keep that hands interlaced and bring the shoulders forward if that's too much of a shoulder stretch just crisscross and hold on to your forearms here most important is just let everything drop forward head and neck relaxes another three breaths two last one here and then let the hands drop to the floor really slowly here take your time articulate one vertebra at a time all the way up reset ah <sighs> and you are ready to get back to work i hope your shoulders feel like they've mobilized and worked in a really active way but also feel good and more open let me know how that was for you and if you want more of these routines we have just filmed a whole lot of them for our library in a life anywhere so you can join on a monthly or a six month option and we are here to support your movement journey so um, reach out if you have any questions thank you